Here's how you can add and import contacts on MailChimp. So in this video, I'm going to exactly show you how you can add or import contacts on MailChimp. So make sure you watch this video till the end to exactly know how you can add these types of information. So how do you do that? So first of all, as you can see that I am in the main MailChimp main dashboard and I have already logged in. So first of all, I'm going to show you how you can log in and make your own account. So let me switch on to my another account. As you can see that I haven't logged in or signed up uh, anything. But before uh, uh, continuing, let's just talk about this pricing. So as you can see right now in pricing that we have four different types of methods. The first one is called a free. So you could just go ahead and get free. And then we got essential. So in essentials, it costs almost $7.00. And it has perks. I will explain the perks in a second. Then we got standard. Then it will uh, ask for $10. But it got more features to it. Then we got premium in the end. And it's the most expensive one. It is asking for $175 a month. But let's see the features. So you get in general you get generative ai features on both of these not in the essential and free and then you get monthly email sends you can you can send up to 150 and then 6000 then 500 and 1000 for free then you can send monthly and you got other and i would suggest going for premium if you are like a very huge businessman who sends a lot of email every day if you are not you could just go for free or essential but yeah once the pressing is explained now how do you make an account on it just press sign up once you press sign up it will just bring you up to its tab i don't know why it's not showing up you have to just once you press sign up it will bring you to the pricing tab just press sign up for free all right so once you do this, it will ask for your business email. Just put in your business email that you're using for your Google account and then just give them a password. Once you give them the password, just press sign up and it will just ask for a small verification step. Just do the verification step. Once you do the verification step, as you can see, it's saying please wait and it can take a few seconds. As you can see, after that, it will, it's asking me for check your email. Just go ahead and press go to your Gmail. Once you go to Gmail, just go right over here. Once you go over here, just press activate account. As you can see, it's loading. And once it is, it has been loaded, all right, it will ask for your first name. Just put in your first name. And then give them a business name. I'm just going to put this. And then in the end, just put in your number finally. All right. Once you give them a number, it will ask for your address. All right. Just give them your address. And once you give them your address, just skip uh, all of these if you want to. You can just go ahead and do that. And then it, it will ask for your important features. Just give them the important feature that you want. And then press next again. Once you do that, just uh, uh, select your contact, uh, contact range. So you could just go for 500 or more. So it's up to you how much you want your contact range. Then then it's going to ask for you how, want you how would you sell to your customer. Just Just do some of these as you know that you need and then if you have your own website just put in the website and then press skip if you don't have your url and then just press for free if you are doing for free trial and then it will just prepare your account so as you can see so once your account is set up as you can see it will show this main dashboard i already have made an account as you can see let me show you. Let me go to the main dashboard. So if you are able to go to main dashboard, just press on your account settings and go to campaigns. Once you press on campaigns, it will bring up you to this main main dashboard area, right? So now what we are gonna do is create our contacts. How we we can create our contacts? We can just uh, do from spreadsheet or others Excel's. So just just give give it a first name. And then we're just gonna do it too and use an email address so just use a legit email address if you have uh, for your contacts all right just like that
once you do that all right you have to copy it so you can copy you can copy it very easily and copying it is very simple and easy just go ahead and copy what you wrote all right we're just gonna select it just like that and here we go now just press copy all right once you copy it all right just go to the main champs campaign again once you go right over here right and here you'll see a lot of options and many other uh, uh like options over here too but don't worry just go to all contacts once you press all contacts it will load up and as you can see you can see the uh context option right over here and i already have one contact but it's mine so how do you add more context to it so once you press add context, you will see two options. You can manually add a subscriber directly. So how do you add a subscriber? That's basically a contact. So once you press right over here, as you can see, it says add subscriber. You have to put in their email address, then first name and the last name, then uh, the uh, their actual address and then their phone number, their birthday, and they give it tags and press subscribe. So this is how you add a subscriber. But how do you import contact? Just press import context, all right? Once you press import context, as you can see, you get three options right over here. The first one is import from another service. And then we got upload a file and then we get copy and paste. So copy and paste is the easiest method. Just select copy and paste and press continue. And as you can see, you get this. So you just press it, the, press the information that you had right over here. As you can see, first name, you got the first name and email address with everything. Just press continue to organize. Once you press continue to organize, as you can see, it's continue to organize and it will uh, organize your contact. So select your audience. So if you have a company name, I, I name my company this. So just do this and select a sta status. If it's subscribed, just press subscribe and then press update any existing content and then press continue to tag. Once you do this, as you can see, you could just basically add tags to it. So customer 2024 uh, member and then press continue to match. And as you can see, it made a whole match for the first name and then email address. And then after that, finally, just press finalize import. Once you do that, as you can see, that it's asking review and complete your import. Just, just make sure that everything is uh, uh, good and you review it and then press complete import. Once you press complete import, as you can see, your import was successful. So if you press on view context, it's loading up. You will be able to see that I added this contact right over here as you can see. So yeah, you successfully added your content uh, or, or your subscriber. So I hope this video is helpful and uh, you, this video helped you out. So sub drop a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos just like this. Until then, goodbye.